Oh my gosh, I didn't know I was having a guest over. No, I'm kidding. Hi, and welcome back to another apartment tour because I've done so many of these now. I just wanna say thank you before we get started because literally without you, I would probably still be living in my friend's basement. So kisses, here we are now in a six bedroom, three full bathroom penthouse in New York City. This is insane. Thank you guys so much. I'll be reading all my comments on this video, so comment down below. Also, we just dropped the new clothing line collection, so you guys can also shop that, but let's get started. Y'all are like, I'm bored as fuck my, let's get started. Okay, so first, when you walk in, we have this huge open space, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with because actually, my whole entire family is coming out here for Christmas, so there's gonna be like eight people in this house. I love the flooring the like the shade the warmth the width of these planks it's just it's giving it's giving very much i love we have terrace number one and they're not finished building it yet because this place is like brand spanking new but they're gonna put like stone on here there's like a full barbecue so i can cook some steaks without the smoke alarm going off these doors are so advanced i'm not used to it i don't know how this is my place like i'm feeling very much uh what is it called imposter syndrome like i feel like i'm doing like a like a tour right now but like i'm not registering the fact that like i live here does that make sense sorry if i'm feeling flustered it's because i am flustered um so then we have these big fat humongous windows with the view of manhattan but then we have this very nice column and the reason why i really love this column is because if you guys don't know, I have a fat ass tree that I have in my last apartment. Okay, Kim Possible. And it wraps, well, I want it to wrap around the pole. And I think that this is gonna be the pole that I wrap the tree around. Um, let's get into the kitchen. So y'all know that I love cooking. You guys know that I love my cooking era. And when I saw this kitchen, I was sold. To me, a kitchen is like the most important part of a place just because I feel like that's where I spend the most time. If you guys see here, these countertops, most of these finishes are from Germany and Italy. And in my last apartment, I have some like sticky stuff that I put on the counters to be like this. So the fact that I found an apartment actually with this stone is insane. This is a super cool feature, but you can basically put chairs here and act like this is a dining table, but then also bar stools and stuff right there, insane. So here we have two ovens, two ovens. I could be cooking some like pumpkin pies and then a turkey in here. And before I moved in, they literally got whole new appliances and everything. But the downside is this place doesn't have a microwave, but I think it's because a lot of bougie people like don't be using a microwave or they have like personal chefs so they don't need a microwave. But me personally, I need a microwave, but these are great. You know what I mean? Let's talk about this. Do you see what I'm seeing? The fact that there's no like great here is Fucking insanity. I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. And the fact that it's a gas, oh, uh, y'all, the cooking videos here are about to be insane. A dishwasher, oh, uh, eat this shit up. Oh my God, and this sink, mm, guys, this is like my dream sink right here, okay? First of all, do you guys see this grate that's in it? It's like to collect food and stuff. Like this shit looks so bougie. Like this sink is huge, huge to let, dishes pile up. Do you see this? So you may be like, what is this? I didn't know either. I didn't know that this existed, y'all. I'm so used to drinking just tap water, filtered water. Let's say you come over and you're like, oh my God, Miley, do you have a water bottle? No, no, save the environment. Filtered water. Then we have this fridge. This is brand new, bitch. It's still got the stickers and everything. I'm so excited for this fridge, y'all. It is a double fridge. This literally has a separate Vita Fresh thing for like fruit, vegetables, all this shit. I've never seen this before. Oh my gosh. And then this ice, this ice scoop and just even the ice, I don't know. I'm so impressed. Anyways, so over here, I don't know what this is called. It is just expensive. I don't know what it is. I wish I could appreciate these things. I do appreciate it. I just don't know the name. But apparently this is expensive. That's what they told me. And I was like, oh, nice. You thought we were done here? No, more storage. I am never gonna run out. I don't even have that many things, y'all. Um, And then over here is where we're gonna put the dining room table, which I do not own one. So Facebook Marketplace, I'm gonna have to scour the web. But once I have it here, they said that they could come in and lower these bitches. Like, I'm telling you, the management here is like so... Oh, this right here is the bedroom, but I don't know if you guys can see, this door is fucking fat, just like your ass, baby. Um, No, this door is huge. It's not like a regular, schmegler, degular sized door. This is a big bitch. It's a big body and it's so high and I love the actual door itself. Like the, I have never seen this before. Come in here, come here. So this is where all the magic happens. And by magic, I mean like, sleeping and journaling. This room, I'm obsessed, y'all. The fact that there's like already built-in lamps 
just just already says a lot. So I plan on putting my bed here, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but just by looking at this place, but this place is my S. If you guys look at my last apartment and you guys see the way I furnish it and everything, like this place matches it perfectly. You see over here, we have some big, fat, juicy windows for everyone to peep in. And if you guys don't know, in my last apartment, I did not have curtains, I didn't have shades or anything. So everyone had a free show, but not this time because I can come over here, grab this remote and click beep. Imagine. I'd be doing the welcome back to my 6 a.m. morning routine. And I'd just be clicking some buttons and my curtains start moving. That is some hotel shit. So we have these beautiful curtains and there's blackout shades too, but I don't need to show you all that. Also, I want to mention this. Do you see this? This is so advanced. I have never had this in a place before. I feel like if you walk into your friend's house and they have one of these electric things, you know that they're making money. Um, anyway, so over here we have another terrace. I would come out here, but my, I got the curtain dirty, but um, you guys can kind of get the gist. It's a big boy. It's a very big boy one. All right, the bathroom. Y'all remember when I lived in Calgary, Alberta, and I had that iconic ass bathroom? Yeah, but I was also only paying like $1,000 in rent because it was Canada. I never thought that I would find a bathroom like that ever again. Like, I thought that from that point on, it would just never hit the same until I saw this. I posted this on my spam account story and y'all, if you guys don't know what a spam account is, my private Instagram, and y'all were like, oh my God, the glow of videos about to be insane. And yes, yes. Welcome to my bathroom. So first here we have this bathtub, okay? The fact that it's like separated from the fucking wall is insane to me, okay? And imagine in the summer, I'm sitting here taking a nice little bath and then I open this door. I think it's locked, it's locked. But I open this door and I'm like, wow, a nice summer breeze. And like, you know, somebody could be sitting out there like with a table reading a book or something like that. And we could be just be big chilling. I don't know who that somebody is, but you know, it's just my imagination working. Then over here, we have this beautiful little thingy -ma bobber. Um, and look at this guys, boop, bam. They really thought about it, okay? And thank God this place only has one sink because the places that always had two sinks made me feel so fucking lonely because it's like for like two people or whatever, but I swear this place was made for me. And do you see this knob? I'm just in wow by everything. What the fuck is this? And it's the fact that the water pressure is insane. But also, heated towel rack. I know this is common in Europe or whatever, but it ain't common in my world. Um, Let's go over here. Whoop. This. It has a heated toilet seat, bro. A heated toilet seat. And this has like a thing to wash your ass. We're definitely gonna have to do some experimenting. I would show you this, but wrong channel, babes. Um, And then in here, there's just so much storage. Like all the amount of skincare and stuff that I could put in here. Wow, I'm very excited for this one. Now onto my favorite part of this bathroom, the shower. First of all, the rounded edges. What are we in the late 60s, the early 70s? Oh, this looks so so good. And then the two shower heads with the fucking rain shower head up here. These are getting advanced, y'all. I can just imagine setting up my GoPro here and like doing like shower with me videos. Yes, I do those types of videos. But also like what the fuck are all these buttons for? But y'all, you see this? This is my fucking steamer. I'll put some essential oils here and steam's gonna come out. Why? Because this is a steam shower. Yes, a steam room and a shower, a little two-in-one combo. Y'all know the video's about to go crazy. A walk-in closet. Just the smallest little details. The fact that these bars aren't even round, they're like rectangular, what the fuck is that? And like the fact that in here there's like these organizers and like this is for like your belt and like your ties. Like down here there's shoe organizers. Like I've never seen a closet like this. If we turn this way, you're like, wait, where are we? All right, so basically the kitchen and everything was over here, right? And then now, we are in the kind of foyer area and everything again. And this set of stairs leads up to something very special, which we'll show you later. But anyways, come over here, come over here. So down this hallway is three bedrooms, um, which if you guys wanna apply to live here, let me know. Just kidding. Imagine if like I live with my subscribers, that'd actually be crazy. But I do have some sneaky little plans up my sleeve. Oh my gosh, this hoodie is such high quality. I wonder where I bought it, shopalchemy.com. But I do have some plans for these bedrooms, but let me know what you guys think. So here we have this one. These are such well, good size bedrooms like these are fat these windows do you see that the way i can open it up and open it i need a knot i'm just gonna stop okay and then these closets were custom like fitted so that they are perfect for here uh and then over here is basically the same thing but just you have a little bit different every single room is just you know a little unique over here we have another one this one gets 
a lot of light just because there's two sets of windows. Oh, and then also all of these rooms, they all have curtains like this. Anyways, so this right here is, ew, why did I have my hair behind my ears the whole time? I look like a fucking egg. Here we have one of the guest bathrooms. Um, this is a full bath, lots of storage, built-in storage. Ugh, they were really thinking smart. We also have a shower here, which they need to solve the rod. Um, and then also a heated towel rack. So, you know, if you come over, you're a guest, don't worry. I'll make sure your bum cheeks are nice and warm. Um, and then also, this door is so bougie. So that was three of the bedrooms. Then we come over here and we have in-unit washer and dryer and a whole fucking room for it. These are the big boy ones. You know what I mean? Like this, I can wash a whole duvet in. Ugh, amazing. And brand spanking new. Lots of storage and stuff like that in here as well. There's a sink, like, bruh. All right, come over here and there is that was supposed to be smooth. There is more storage, which literally what am I gonna put in here, y'all? All right, so we're back at the foyer, all right? Let me let me do a little pan so you guys can see where we are. Right, now uh, we have another bedroom. This one's slightly bigger, um, and I, I think you can tell by the echo that it's actually a lot bigger. I think that this is gonna be either a podcast room or the editing studio. I'm I wanna dedicate a whole room to editing. So I'm not sure which one yet, but I also wanna make a podcast studio, which, Coming soon. So we have this room and it already has like lights built in. Then we come over here down this hallway and we have another bathroom. This one is so fucking sick. I have never seen anything like this. What is this? Bruh, this is literally art. Like I have never seen a sink like this in my entire life. And this shower, the fact that there's three showers in this place is insane with the rain shower head too. Oh yeah, yeah. Then, the last bedroom, the last bedroom. But guys, the tour isn't done yet. What's upstairs? So again, this is either gonna be an editing office or a podcast office, I'm not sure yet, but I want this side of the house to be the workspace of the house so that I like can, you know, like, it's like, oh, gotta work today. And then just like walk five feet over to this section of the house. So that is the first floor. Now, what you guys have all been waiting for, upstairs. Oh wait, we need to put our shoes on. Um, if you guys can see here, this is literally an entire foyer to myself. The elevator opens up to my floor. Oh my God, wait, while we're out here, let me show you this. I have my own trash chute. My own trash chute. In New York City, you're usually supposed to just take the trash and walk it down the street and throw it outside. The fact that I have my own trash chute, oh yeah. Now this, this is the kicker for me. The summers are about to go crazy. Y'all are all invited because I have a private we, we have a private rooftop deck. They're currently building the second, who needs fucking two? They're building the second set of barbecue and everything right now here, which what the fuck? But y'all, there is grass, there's a garden. Like Mochi and Sterling are about to have the time of their lives. The fact that there's grass, bro, and views of all of Manhattan is fucking insane to me. Anyways, I'm posting every single day. Yes, every single day. So make sure to subscribe. And I just want to say thank you so much because it's so crazy to me that four years ago I was kicked out of my house and I didn't know where I was gonna live. And now fast forward a couple years later because of you guys, I live in a fucking New York City penthouse, which is insane and I owe it all to you guys. So I will be reading every single one of my comments and try my best too. But I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.